Hey guys, I'm Nick and on this episode of The Scran Line, I'm going to show you guys how to make these creme brulee macarons. Now, if you don't know what creme brulee is, it's a traditional French sweet. So it's kind of a mixture of smooth, creamy, velvety custard and crunchy, crispy toffee on top. Now, these macarons have all of those textures, all of those flavors. This is how you make them. Okay guys, so we're going to start off with our macarons. So pop your powdered sugar and almond meal into a food processor. You want to mix this until it's really well combined. If you don't have one of these, you can just sift it together three times. It will help combine everything. You want to pop that into a large mixing bowl. We're going to add our first batch of egg whites. Now continue mixing this until it forms a paste. When it has, you want to cover it with some plastic wrap and set it aside. Next, we're going to move on to making our syrup. So pop your water and sugar into a small saucepan. We're going to give it a gentle stir and bring it to a gentle boil. Now I'm using a candy thermometer to get my mixture to 115 degrees Celsius. Using a candy thermometer makes this process a lot easier than having to guess what the temperature is. So I really recommend getting one of these I got mine from a local cake supply store, but you can get them online as well. Once you reach 115 degrees Celsius, you're gonna pop your second batch of egg whites on in a stand mixer, or you can use a hand mixer. We're gonna get these nice and frothy. Once you reach 118 degrees Celsius, pour your very hot syrup into your egg whites while the mixer is on high speed in a thin and steady stream. Now it's very important to do it in a thin and steady stream, otherwise you risk cooking your egg whites, scrambling them, and they can also turn to liquid. So make sure that it's very thin and very gradual. We're gonna stop the mixer and scrape down the bowl. We're gonna add some vanilla bean paste in there as well, and continue mixing until you get a nice thick and glossy meringue. It should take an extra three to four minutes. You're going to add a spatula full of that meringue to your almond mixture from earlier on. Mix that in until it's really well combined. Then we're going to add the rest of our meringue. And guys, at this point, we're not going to get to the ribbon stage like we usually do because we're actually going to split this into two bowls. So you just want to make sure that your meringue is mixed into that almond well enough that you can't see any big chunks of meringue. So to one bowl, you're going to add some yellow food dye, some orange food dye and some black food dye and give it a good mix. Now, the mixing stage is where a lot of people go wrong. I like to go around the bowl with a spatula and then through the middle. And that helps deflate our mixture and get it to the ribbon stage that I mentioned earlier on. So the ribbon stage is when your mixture falls off your spatula in a ribbon and disappears back into the mixture after about 10 seconds. We want to bring our white mixture to the ribbon stage as well. I've just added my macaron butter into a piping bag fitted with a round tip. We're going to add some dabs of that mixture onto our baking tray and then line it with some baking paper and that's just going to stop our baking paper from flying around in the oven when it's in there. Pipe your macarons about 3 centimeters in width we're going to gently tap each side of the tray and let these sit and dry for about 30 minutes. If you can touch them and they're not sticky to the touch, you want to bake these on 180 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes. Once they're finished baking, let them cool down completely before you try taking them off the tray. Now, next we're going to move on to making our custard. We're going to add our egg yolks into a large mixing bowl, along with our flour, corn flour and salt, Give that a good mix before you add your sugar. Mix that in well, and then we're going to add some warm milk into that mixture. So we're only gonna add a little bit at a time just to introduce that warmth into our eggs and not cook them. Once you've added two batches of milk to your egg mixture and mix it in well, you wanna add the rest of that milk. Now we're gonna pop this in the microwave for five minutes at a time, mixing each time until your mixture is nice and thick. If you don't have a microwave, you can cook this on a stove top in a medium size pot on a gentle heat. Once it's finished cooking, you're going to put all of your butter in there and mix it in until everything is really well combined. We're gonna add some vanilla bean paste in there to finish off. Mix that, 
cover it with some plastic wrap and set it aside in the fridge to chill. Next we're going to move on to making our toffee so add your water and sugar into a medium sized saucepan, give it a gentle stir, now see those sugar crystals on the side of the pot, we're going to use a pastry brush and a little bit of water just to brush those back into the sugar mixture. Bring this to a gentle boil and then you want to get it to the point where it starts to colour. Now be very careful because it happens very quickly when it starts to colour and so you want to have your eyes on it otherwise it will burn. Get it to a nice dark caramel colour. It'll take about six to seven minutes all up. We're going to transfer this into a baking tray lined with baking paper. Get it nice and even on all sides. We're going to set it aside to set. It'll take about 20 or 30 minutes. Once it's set, you want to snap it into some large pieces. Now, I actually went back and made this again because I wanted it to be a little bit darker than this. So I cooked it for an extra couple more minutes. So I just want to crush this. I'm going to use a food processor, but if you don't have one of these, you can carefully do it with a large knife. Now, our macarons have baked and our custard is set. I'm using a Wilton 6B tip to frost the swirl of that custard frosting on top. I'm using the end of a teaspoon just to make a little cavity in the middle. We're going to fill that with some salted caramel sauce, sandwich it with one of the white macarons, and then we're going to roll the outside of that frosting into some of that toffee. And guys, that's pretty much it. Okay guys, so those were my creme brulee macarons. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, hit the like button, make sure you hit the subscribe button. You'll find the recipe on my website. I've also left a list of the ingredients in the description box below for you guys. Thanks so much for watching and for all of the lovely comments you guys leave every week on every video. I'll see you all on the next episode of The Scram Line.